One of the coolest experiences I've had was when I visited the Drajan Petrovic Museum in Zagreb, Croatia. Drajan was a famous basketball player in the 1980s in his native Croatia, or Yugoslavia as it was known then, before joining the Portland Trailblazers in the late 80s and eventually the New Jersey Nets in 1991. Tragically, Drajan's life was cut short by a motor vehicle accident in 1993. The museum dedicated to him in Zagreb is located at the home court of Sabona, one of the teams he played for in the 80s. I purchased my ticket and began strolling around the museum looking at all the memorabilia on display when I noticed a door to another room was opened and I just assumed that was another part of the museum. But to my surprise, when I got to that extra room, sitting at a table was Drajan's mother, Biserka Petrovic. Believing I had interrupted her, I apologized, turned around to leave, but she got up and gestured for me to stay. For the next half an hour, Biserka took me on a private tour of the museum, proudly showing off many of the items on display, including jerseys, trophies, medals, and even sneakers. She didn't really speak English, instead we communicated by a mix of her Italian and my rusty Spanish. But for that moment, I didn't feel like a tourist in a foreign city, instead I felt like a guest in somebody's house. Of the many reminders of Drajan's career on display, there were two that really stood out. Firstly, when we looked at a framed photo of Drajan against the mighty Dream Team at the Barcelona Olympics in 1992. The Dream Team were considered then and still are today as the greatest basketball squad ever assembled. And while they beat Croatia twice at those Olympics, Drajan played with the confidence and belief of someone who didn't think this powerful team was unbeatable. And along the way, he earned the respect of Michael Jordan and co. Secondly, Drajan had been honoured as one of the top European players of all time at the NBA's 75th season anniversary, and Biserka was obviously so honoured and proud that her son had been recognised for his achievements. I obviously never met Drajan, but I felt a connection to him that day through his mother. Perhaps it was because he was a non-US born player, thriving in the NBA, something I dreamed of doing from thousands of miles away in Melbourne, Australia, where I grew up in the 90s. Drajan has succeeded and he gave hope to people like me that perhaps I could too. Drajan was so much more than a basketball player for the people of Croatia. He was a hero, an icon, and someone they looked up to then and still to today. His memory will never be forgotten.